Hey y'all, it's sunshine. I'm just not feeling good today, so I'm gonna do a quick video and then I'm gonna go back inside. Um, you may realize that my office is no longer bright, like a lot of sunshine in it anymore. And that's cause I ended up just putting a tarp over the whole garage. Um, the skylight uh, cover had busted in the hail and it was just coming in. I mean, water was just coming in. And uh, I said, you know what? I can't have that happening, especially with a sewing machine and a embroidery machine and other stuff that's in here. I was like, no, I I'm not going to deal with that. So I put a 12 by 24 inch tarp over it. And my friend came and helped me he pretty much did it and I was just like the the holder because <laughs> my fat ass can't be up there so um he did that for me and uh yeah it's a little bit cooler in here actually it's nice um it's still a little warm like it's gonna be because it's Texas and a million degrees um but you'll notice a more blue tint maybe and not as much daylight coming in um, cause it, it covered down the sides really well, which is fine because it was leaking in the floor somehow too. I don't know if it was through the side vents or what was going on. And, um, so I was like, just tarp the whole thing. I, I don't care at this point. Um, we're supposed to, I'm um, hopefully get some help to seal the roof fairly soon. Cause I, I didn't seal the garage and I, a lot of y'all are probably like sunshine you've got to seal the garage well I only have one gallon of that sealant and the most important place it needs to happen is the bedroom above the bed and above the ceiling in the living room so with it being 40 foot and I just knocked off 10 foot by doing a tarp I figured that'll work better and maybe down the road when I have to replace the tarp I'll seal the garage I don't know I don't know how long I'll be in this thing. It may be forever for when I since I've been in this thing. I don't know, but I know for sure that I need to seal the bedroom ceiling and the living room ceiling. Those are the two priority ceilings, and with it being a big camper, it needs to happen. So for now, the garage gets tarped, and I think I made a pretty good choice doing that. Um, the outside wall up below one of the windows was bubbling. I mean, you could push it. So I really do need to get the windows um, recocked and stuff like that. So anyway, um, I have been outside for the last two days. I think I talked said this before in the beginning of my video, but we went fishing the last two nights and um, just caught a couple sand bass uh, on a little. I I use a white rooster tail with a lure with a silver lure. And uh, it seems to catch them pretty decent. I caught several. Um, but what's killing me is the dock that we're fishing off of is a floating dock. And that motion, because the water's super choppy. And that motion is really affecting my stomach and my... I don't, I don't, I don't know this sounds stupid, but it affects my head too. Like when I'm laying down, I can feel it doing that. And that's getting that's taking a toll on me and uh, like I said I know that sounds stupid but I can't handle the motion like I want, want to be able to and I, I can't so anyway um, what is wrong with this oh that's gonna be a big old I was like I keep seeing this and it's like oh I need to straighten that so it doesn't have that crease in it I'm hoping I never have to use this piece a 30 by 36 but you know me and my projects so the secret commission project is nearing I think I got about two more weeks left on it and then I can take a break and start maybe some of my other stitching that I've got going on um, at this time right now I just got to get that other piece done I've got to uh, so we'll see how far I can get with that um, but I'm hoping I'm hoping I've only got two more weeks left I'm going to be cutting it pretty pretty stout so anyway that's that's about it today um 
that's all I got. But I wanted to say hey, and uh, hope you all are having a wonderful day, and take care. Bye, guys.